you know, I'm nice to meet you. It's like, Arr! Arr! I'll see you later. It's like, Arr! Arr! yeah, and like, you know, I would you like to dance? That's kind of like, Arr! yeah, I, I speak a little Sherwook. <sighs> My name is Sky Payne, and I am best known as the world's most enthusiastic Chewbacca collector. We're at Celebration Anaheim, the biggest Star Wars convention there's ever been. Yeah, Chewie's still here if you want him. Yeah, what are you asking for? I don't know if you're interested. I got a Canadian uh, Star Wars Chewie toy. I don't even remember watching the movies that much. What I remember is the toys, getting my brother's hand-me-downs, when I was in high school, there was hundreds of these toys coming out every year. And so I was like, I'll just buy one of each of the old toys. So there's very little things I don't have. I see over there an Empire Strikes Back Chewie. I have that. I see a 12-inch Chewbacca figure in the box. I have that, plus the Canadian one, plus the French one, plus the prototype for Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> when you get really focused on one character, you have what are called runs. So like, I have a French Chewbacca run that is not complete, and it's very close to my heart because I teach French, because I love Chewbacca. I want to get one item. Return of the Jedi Chewbacca figure. It's the last card to actually have his French name. I haven't seen one in 20 years of collecting ever come up for sale. I've got Stéphane Foucault, who wrote the book on collecting French Star Wars toys, flying in from Paris with the figure tonight. He wants $2,000. The problem is, I don't actually have all the money, so I brought some proof cards. Before they actually put the toys on the card back, they would do proof runs to show what it would look like. And a very small number of these exist, maybe a handful. What do you think I could get if I tried to sell my, my 21 back proofs? What do you think? You got a little damage on the stormtrooper. A little damage. You know, you're going to have to find the right collector on the power drive. I think it's a good place to sell proof cards around here. I think this is just kind of more sort of the general crowd. Right. Into the early vintage pre production stuff. That was probably more of sales. You know? Yeah. I'm not going to sell anything here. I got to bail. For me, the best way to sell anything is at the semi-secret room sales. One night of the convention, collectors find some space, bring a box or two or three or four, and just put it on the floor, and you just walk around, and there's no eBay, there's no PayPal. It's this great way of just selling collector to collector. The second I sell these, I'm going to go, oh, but, you know, yeah. Chewie comes first. I got you. Very good. Yeah. Are you anyone else who needs one? It's the first 12 character, pretty rare, 2,000 for two out of these three together. Uh, 1,200 for the... Uh, 1,200 is the lowest price for the Leia. All right, let's, uh, I'll take it. All right, 1,200 for the Leia. It's hard to give up. It is. Would you like to buy some proof cards? Oh, you have that one? I thought you might. So I just sold the Snaggletooth. Uh, the buyer didn't want to be on camera. Do you know who I sold it to? Oh, really? Who also sold them to me. So I now have $2,000, and I'm able to go find Stefan and buy the Meccano cheap tub off I've been waiting for 15 years. Stefan! Yeah, so we are on there? We're whole, yeah. Oh, Sky, you got to... I am so happy. Yeah, yeah. This is so great. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, Stefan, here is 2100 American dollars. It's, it's a funny thing because there's so much money involved that you think that what you need to do to be a great collector is have a lot of money. But really what you have to do is have the ability to talk to people, to put yourself out there, and to make meaningful friendships. That's the reason that I have the collection I have. How sweet is that, right? The funny bubble on top. It's about these connections that you form over the span of a decade, over the span of 15 years, however long you've been collecting, it's as much about that as it is about the stuff.